Welcome to Bella Nona Design Studio. Today I'm here to introduce you to our second block of the month called Homegrown Veggies. Now we're on month five of the Homegrown Veggies with the turnip. This is the background prepared. We're going to place the turnip bottom on and then we're going to place the turnip top butted up at the top of the dirt and from edge to edge just barely covering the bottom of the turnip. They're made to overlap just a little bit. Then we'll place the center leaf, which is about three quarters of an inch above the top of the turnip. Then the little left leaf and the right leaf. And then the fun part. How we made this bottom was really kind of fun to use our special fabric. I want to show you. We place it at the bottom here and then we fuse it. But this is all one piece. So let me show you how we did that. We have a special fun fabric that we managed to just create this bottom, making the little tip, the root, go down into this white part and then the shadow is up in the dark part. So that's how we fussy cut the bottom of the turnip. Okay, now we're gonna stitch. First of all, we have to draw on our veins. So we're gonna take our pencil and we're going to draw the lines here for all the leaf veins. And First of all, what I like to do is I like to stitch around each leaf before I put the veins in. I've used just a small um, satin stitch because these are pretty small leaves. And we stitch these with the dark and then I came in with a light for the veins. One thing I might also do is come back with this dark thread and reinforce this right along the edge with the dark so it shows up just a little bit better. That's just something you can do if you wish. Okay, now we're going to stitch the turnip. We can start with the top piece and I used a fun stitch here around this whole piece. Then you stitch the little sides of the turnip in cream then I come down here and I stitch this in cream as well with a tiny little satin stitch and then I come back with the dark and satin stitch around the bottom here. Now the pattern gives you all the directions on how to space the beets apart on the long rows and how to space the leaves. So a little bit of fray check on the ends of your threads and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. 